Hello. I'm at the keyhole of the Devil's Backbone in Loveland, Colorado. There's the keyhole right there. Kind of looks like there's a face up there in a way or like a lion's head or something. Catherine and I are living somewhere over there, just about in the center of the screen. I found this place where it blocks the wind a bit, so I'm going to set my camera up in here. This is the latest writing that I'm distributing to the public here in Loveland. It's titled, The War on Rothschild's Fed that Funds International Terrorists with U.S. Taxpayer Money. And underneath that first star is written, Star Symbol of Judaism. Underneath the next image, that black cube says Islam's Kaaba cube, the center image, star of Remphan and Saturn cube, the next one with a white shape in it, Saturn, the next one after that says Solomon's seal, mark of the beast. And I'll go ahead and read this for you. Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. These shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord, as Moses commanded. Be therefore perfect, as the Lamb commanded. And who sings the perfect song of Moses and of the Lamb, but the redeemed of God who are found without fault before him? I tell you the truth of two reliable witnesses who command perfection. Love fulfills the law all the way to it. It's okay to be perfect, even forever. Thus saith the Lord, but the wicked shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Behold therefore the goodness and severity of God. Thus saith the Lord to the people of Islam, Did the only God of Abraham ever justify your prophet to consummate his form of marriage in a nine-year-old little girl? Am I the God of child molesters, even after I destroyed Mohammed for it forever? Therefore I will kill you with death that lasts forever, lest you repent and turn from your religion of child molesting devils. And I will cut the head hunters of Islam off at their bloody necks as a perfect reward for their own form of law. Leave your religion behind, O people of Islam, and return to me like the little children you once were, and I will have mercy and circumcise your hearts, even as Ishmael's heart was circumcised, and I will love you forever. And to the people of Judaism, thus saith the Lord, 
did Moses not teach the children of Israel a certain song that was made to be a witness against themselves for breaking covenant? Shall I spell out some jots and tittles for the synagogue of Satan's rabbis to lament over while they cling to Satan's religion they call Judaism? I will punish the people of Judaism according to their own form of law against me. But you say that you're the children of Abraham. And I say, so are a lot of unjustified Muslims. Ishmael and Isaac both received their good reward by the same covenant I made with Abraham. And you say you're the circumcision. But I say you're the unjustified concision that got your foreskins mixed up with something else. Did Moses not tell you about the circumcision of the foreskin of the heart? I never told Abraham to mutilate himself by circumcision. My circumcision of the covenant I made with Abraham was always about removing the foreskin of the heart in the spirit. Can a mole with blood all over his hands save you? Satan's rabbis of Judaism are the living dead without my spiritual seed, lest any of these repent and be converted. Be baptized, O people of a false religion, in the name of him who destroyed death itself when he loved you to death and rose from the dead. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Only then will you be given the same everlasting reward that Abraham received by a promise once made. Don't be fooled by a false inheritance through Abraham's generational seed. For if I spared not many natural branches for their corruption, then I cut off many of Israel's seed for their corruption. And I'm not partial to Israel over Ishmael or Isaac. But I will spare Israel, whose heart was never circumcised, by the deliverer of my people, if they receive the truth in him. The only seed that counts for salvation is the seed that came through Mary, conceived by my Holy Spirit. He is the seed of Abraham that raises up children to him regardless of their ancestry. But woe to the people who judge others by the color of their skin. And woe to the false Jew Gentiles of the concision that murdered Jacob's Palestinian descendants for land grabs and worldly power. I will punish Benjamin Netanyahu, who calls himself Israel's prime minister, by second death for not first dying to sin in Christ. And I will turn Jerusalem to heaps of ruins. How's that for a terror threat against Israeli terrorists and their offshore U.S. federal bank robber friends? Let's do the math that adds up to U.S. federal bank fraud. One Federal Reserve Act of 1913 plus one Revenue Act of 1913 equals two acts of federal bank pirates who have been robbing U.S. taxpayers through federal tax fraud. Then Rothschild's bank sends stolen tax money to their offshore synagogue of Satan investment they call Israel that I shall destroy forever. Know your enemy. Thus saith the Lord that destroyed Solomon for his Molech abomination against children. Was Solomon's 666 talents of gold able to save the beast of the tribe of Judah? Yea, he took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of his god, Remphan, his seal. And I will punish him with everlasting death. I will also destroy Satan's U.S. federal bank and behead him from his lifeless body of sin before this is all over. Any resistance will result in everlasting death. Call it the judgment that spares some and destroys others, because that's what it is. I pray for all who can be saved, and I stand for the children. And I signed it, St. Michael. Thank you.